Hey there, I'm Lisa, and if you are new to our channel, we welcome you, and if you are coming back, we welcome you back. I have got an absolutely beautiful abundance of tomatoes behind me that I've collected from the garden. All these gorgeous tomatoes. I've already shown you how to make that beautiful baked feta pasta with cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes. I'm going to show you how to make a homemade tomato sauce and we're going to use that tomato sauce for our pizza night. So the first thing that I'm doing is getting a big pot of water to boil so that I can blanch my tomatoes and get the skins off of them. I've got about four and a half pounds of tomatoes here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash them off. I am going to get the stems off of them. I'm gonna cut a cross or an X in the bottom of them before we get them into that boiling water. You're gonna just take your tomatoes and you're gonna cut an X or a cross in the bottom of them. Just like that. Once you've got your cross or your X on your tomatoes, then you are going to just wait for that water to boil and you're gonna put the tomatoes in the water. This is called blanching and you're just gonna leave them in there for 30 to 45 seconds up to a minute until that skin starts peeling away from the tomatoes and then you're gonna know that you can take them out and then they're really easy to peel. I've got a strainer set up over a bowl here for when I take the tomatoes out so that I can start letting the water drain away easily and it's just gonna be a really streamlined process, hopefully. All right, so my water is looking pretty good, boiling really well there, so I am going to add my tomatoes. And there they all are in there. Burned my hand, but I will be all right. Just a little bit of water splashed up on my hand, so do be careful when you put your tomatoes in the boiling water. You can already start to see the skin is starting to peel away from the tomatoes. So I'm gonna be able to take these out in just a couple seconds here. I'm using a sieve and just taking it over to that strainer and bowl setup that I have going on over here. It's working quite well. Now what you've got are these tomatoes where the skin just peels right off super easily. You see that? Just really, really easy to get the skin off. There is all of the peel off our tomato. My chickens are gonna be all too happy to get that. This really did not take very long at all to do. Those came off very, very easily. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these tomatoes into smaller pieces and then I'm going to get them into my stock pot. I'm not gonna take every single seed out of these tomatoes because I don't mind if there's a pair, but if you wanted to seed all your tomatoes, you can certainly do that. Gonna add my tomatoes into my pot. I'm adding in half a teaspoon of salt, a few shakes of black pepper, and some crushed red pepper flakes because I want it just a little bit spicy. And we're just gonna let that all cook down. It smells so good already. I'm chopping up two cloves of fresh garlic that I grew in my garden. So I've got my two cloves of garlic there. You can add more garlic, less garlic, however much garlic you like. I might actually add another clove because I really like garlic. Into the pot and stir it in. You can see all those tomatoes are breaking down really, really nicely. 
Next thing that I'm gonna add is a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I am using the Kirkland brand from Costco. You can use whatever kind of olive oil you like as long as it's extra virgin. Right into my pot. I'm gonna stir that in. And at this point, I am going to taste it and see if I wanna add any more salt or pepper. That's really good. It's really good with that hint of spice in there. You can add any kind of spices that you want to this at this point. I am going to get some fresh basil from my herb garden because I want to add some fresh basil in. It's very convenient to have a little herb garden right off the kitchen on your porch. I absolutely love the easy access to this. Right, so that fresh basil that we just got from the herb garden is going right into the pot. And it is okay if it looks like I didn't chop it up quite enough because the next thing I'm gonna do is hit this with my immersion blender to blend up any of the other tomato chunks that aren't quite blended up yet. That's so pretty though. I love that contrast of the beautiful green basil with the vibrant red sauce. Look at that absolutely gorgeous sauce. Minimal ingredients, just tomatoes, olive oil, and spices, no sugar added. We're just gonna wait for this to cool and then I'm going to pour it into some mason jars. Once your sauce has cooled, I recommend getting a mason jar and a funnel and a ladle. It, to me, it's the easiest way to get this into the jar without making a huge mess. This is the same way that I do my chicken broth as well, except with my chicken broth, I also use a strainer. Because if you try to pour this from the pot, it's just gonna be a huge mess. And there we've got a beautiful jar of homemade tomato sauce from fresh tomatoes that we just harvested from the garden this morning. And you can use this as pizza sauce, you can use it as pasta sauce, you can use it however you'd like. I usually keep this in my refrigerator for about two to three days. One of our favorite things to do with this is to use it for homemade pizza.